So for me, system, and the system is all sorts of people, but the ones I've highlighted here are as health practitioners, employers, case managers, and employees. And just a few points about those uh, different uh, stakeholders, I guess you could describe it. For health practitioners, um, expectation setting I've already referred to, but I can't emphasize that enough. The question of chronic condition, uh, condition management, I think, is quite an important one. Um, there is good evidence now that people who have chronic conditions, asthma, diabetes, and many others, that are well managed, in fact, are better employees and have fewer work days off than employees who, are, who don't have those conditions. So um, people who have got chronic conditions, it's not automatically mean that uh, you're going to be a, a bad employee. In fact, well managed chronic conditions, uh, you end up with very good employees. Uh, for employers, um, question about understanding the evidence, um, particularly around costs. Um, the thing that I'll just refer to now, I think, is, is uh, moving this sort of, I've talked a lot about the evidence and, and how, it's, how I've seen it, to some of the things that uh, I've been involved in doing in recent times, and that has been a program in Taupo, uh, pro, a pilot program called Better at Work. And as we went into that, we had to try and look at the question of how much it was costing for people to be off work. And uh, we did our sums, and we said, well, in the year 2007, on average, in Taupo, the per a person off work was costing, we thought, about $20,000 in round numbers. Um, we had a steering group which had on it uh, members of the CTU and uh, Business New Zealand and, and others. And uh, the Business New Zealand and the CTU both said to us, we're very interested in your figures, but we think you've got them wrong. Business New Zealand um, looked at the question of the same group of people and, and estimated for us the loss in productivity that they estimated around those people that are off work in Taupo. And uh, that came out at an extra $15,000. So we suddenly went from sort of the $10,000 up to uh, $25,000. And then the CTU also said that, in fact, if somebody was back at least part in work, they could be getting 100% of their wages rather than 80%, and that was another $3,000. So knowing the costs, I think, is very important. Case managers, again, is around the early support. Um, and employees, um, people is, and this is a thing that I think has also been referred to just a moment ago, this question of people understanding the system makes a big difference. If people can work out and know what's ahead of them, they can manage their own way through systems. And uh, I think there's a, a lot we can do in this area, perhaps with online access and, and other things where people actually can find out for themselves how to manage the system and if they know if their health literacy in that way is, is improved, then they will have better outcomes. So last slide. Um, this is a, being able to benefit bad for your health, as I said, not my topic, but uh, I would say from the evidence I've seen, the answer is yes, and can anything be done? And again, emphatically, I would say yes. And I would point to the idea of doing things locally, one by one, individually. Um, let me just give you one last anecdote from the Taupo experience where we met, um, because the program is based on having employers, employees, trade union movement, all the stakeholders around the table. And um, the medical practitioners said, um, well, the program you've put to us is, looks pretty straightforward. We won't have any problem doing this. In fact, we're probably doing it already. In fact, I don't think I have to change very much at all to, to do this. The th group you have the biggest trouble with is the employers. They're, they're a difficult bunch. Um, when you spoke to the employers separately, they said exactly the opposite, of course. It wasn't them, it was the, the doctors. But we've been working with the group for nearly six months, and in, in a monthly meeting, the, the same practitioner who said, this is going to be easy, I won't have to change months, it's the employers you're going to have to change, and, and my patients to some extent, said, I've been thinking about it, in fact, I've realised now that we're all going to have to change, and it's probably about a third, a third, a third. That is, uh, it's a third with me, a third with my patients, and a third with the employer. So that, I'll leave, thank you.